Hi, this is Harrison, uh, W1HAF. I'd like to make a quick video here uh, explaining uh, Blue DV. That's uh, what you see on my computer screen right now. This program is developed by PA7LIM. Uh, he's put a lot of time in. It uh, runs in Windows and it runs on a Android device. Uh, the program it allows you to connect to the digital voice radio uh, services uh, such as DMR, D-Star, Fusion, and Nextden, uh, all by using this uh, Windows program or Android program. It does this by uh, connecting to this device down here on my desk, plugged into my computer, which is a Northwest Digital Radio Ambi chip uh, in a USB thumb drive. And this Ambi chip does all the uh, heavy lifting. It decodes all the digital data for all the digital modes uh, in conjunction with the piece of software that was developed by PA7LIM. So right now on the screen, you see the uh, program open. Uh, I am going to uh, disconnect it. There we go. And briefly show you uh, the uh, setup screen. You go in here to file and setup, menu and setup, and then it will open the setup screen. Uh, come on. <laughs> uh, there it is. Okay, so here's the setup screen for the program. Uh, there's a few parameters you have to put in here to make it work. Um, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Hopefully this works. Uh, you put your call sign in up here at the top of the program in the setup. Serial port for the uh, radio if you're connecting it to a radio, uh, but I'm not using a radio. I'm using that uh, USB thumb drive. Um, the RX and TX colors I turned on and I inverted it so it shows red for transmit and green for receive. Uh, the frequency uh, mode timer and the uh, radio transmit power would be if you were connecting an external radio or a uh, hotspot type device through a USB port. Uh, but right now we're using just the uh, Ambi chip itself, uh, no radio. Uh, latitude and longitude for your current location, so that's transmitted. Uh, you set up your default uh, reflector for D-Star right here. Uh, you have to put something in there. I have it connected to XLX401 module A as a default. Um, Next end is uh, you put in the next end talk groups that uh, you'd like to talk on and connect to. Up here in the uh, middle is the DMR. Uh, you put in your DMR ID number. Uh, QRG is to adjust the offsets uh, if there's a problem with the digital audio, which I'm, I haven't had to touch, it's at zero. Um, the little button that says enable at start, if you click that when you open the program, it'll automatically start DMR. I have that disconnected. The next program uh, pull down box here is for the type of DMR network you want to connect to. Brandmeister, DMR Plus, XLX DMR, Free DMR, System X, and TGIF. I have mine set to DMR Plus. Um, then uh, the Brandmeister server that you're connecting to is 3103, is what I selected off the list. You put your Brandmeister password in that next box down. Uh, I didn't put it in for purpose of not <laughs> uh, showing everybody my password because it's not hidden. Uh, DMR plus uh, server, I'm going through TGIF, but there are many servers all over the world, different networks. Um, I picked the uh, TGIF server. You put your TGIF server password in here from TGIF, and that'll get your network connected to TGIF on uh, DMR. The next one down is Fusion, which is the one we were interested in. You put your uh, QTH locator in, fill that in. I have it enabled at start. I picked the default reflector uh, as a Yezu system Fusion. I have it set to XLX401, which is a local cross mode reflector. But you could uh, off the list pick uh, any reflector or uh, Fusion talk room. Right now you see all the XLX reflectors. If I go up here, now you see all the the uh, Fusion YSF talk groups uh, rooms. And uh, you can go through here and you can pick the one that you want to connect to. Um, the CTRI one is in there. Uh, it's down the bottom of the list here. 
um, because it had been added lately. Uh, so uh, you can pick that. So I'm not going to waste time. Um, the FCS reflector, you can pick that, uh, the room that you want to connect to, and then the uh, room number. Uh, and that's QSO America right there, FCS 0454. Over here, you put in that you're using a thumb drive device, MB3000. It's connected on COM4. You need to know the COM port that it's plugged into, um, your DMR ID, the baud rate of the COM port to connect to the MB chip, which in my case is 4600, uh, uh, 46800. Um, and then if I was using it as an AMB server, I would check that box and set that up, but I'm not. Uh, the D-Star uh, C4FM text that's going to scroll across is Harrison, Connecticut, USA. And then the keying, I don't worry about because I don't have to, I'm not keying a radio. And then you hit save. And uh, once you've done that, um, now you can go back to the program and you use the serial button to turn it on and off. Up here, you pick uh, your inputs to the program for your microphone and your speakers. I have mine set to the default uh, microphone high def, uh, which is a microphone on my plugged into the front of my computer and the speaker, computer speakers. Here you can update the uh, databases, uh, all the different hosts and the databases. I've done that already today. Um, so if I connect this, it's automatically going to connect to Fusion uh, because I had that block checked and it should open up the Fusion uh, tab down here, which it didn't. My program is uh, running slowly today. Um, and I'll just show you once I can get it connected here. Okay, so to resume this uh, video, uh, here I am now with everything connected. Sorry about that, I had to pause. Um, currently, I am connected on DMR, uh, and I am linked in to uh, XLX 4001 right up here and I am into uh, module A and that's by putting in uh, talk group 4001 on DMR um, and then on uh, D star I am connected to reflector 69 Charlie and on fusion I'm connected to the US Connecticut Rhode Island room and on next end I'm linked into 31444 which is the Rhode Island uh, link network system so all of those are connected right now and active. And to change and talk on each module, you go down here and you click these tabs from D-Star to Fusion to DMR to Next End. And the transmit button is this button right here on the right or the space bar on your uh, keyboard. And when I key up, I will, uh, I'll go here to the Connecticut, Rhode Island room. It will come up on the screen and it will transmit on the Connecticut, Rhode Island room. And uh, if somebody transmits back, here, let me get my fusion radio and uh, key up. W1HAF testing. And that's what it looks like when it receives. So this has been a brief video on uh, how to uh, set up uh, Blue DV for uh, Windows and uh, the ability to connect to four different networks at the same time is really cool. I can monitor all four at once and then select the one that I want to transmit on. Uh, and it only costs $100 for the uh, Blue DV uh, or the uh, Ambi DV stick, um, and the software is free, uh, or a donation, uh, which I will uh, send another donation to him for all the hard work that he's put in on the software. Um, so that's uh, my video. Uh, this is W1HAF signing off 7-3. Everybody have a great day.